I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. Okay, um, so let's talk to these guys. You will be working with Anna Navarre. My new partner, J.C. Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. My vision is augmented. Better to look good than to have the distractions of another agent who needs backup. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. For instance, not to be a man running into enemy lines without coordinated military assault. No problem. Okay. Okay, read that if you want to. 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 Read that. Okay. Uh, look at that. Hang on, I just want to see something. Um, notes. 23 to 23 and 4503. Hang on, it's 4508. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't work here. I might just leave that. No, I won't. Oh yeah, and like I said about um, these parts, I'll tell you why they're interesting when we come to it later on in the game. It's about halfway through the game, which it actually starts being moderately important. Let's just go downstairs and stuff first. Before the briefing, you've got to go to level B for your equipment and a medical examination. See Jaime. Med Center and Sam Carter in the armory. Looking good. No bathroom is complete without a pack of cigarettes on the floor. How unprofessional. Well, I was just learning what the, um, the opposite sex looked like when they went to the um, bathroom. I'm curious. At ease, Agent Denton. General Carter, I read about the Merced operation in school. This is a great honor. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without your parents, which requires more courage. I don't think it matters. My parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op and time is short. How about I issue you a stealth pistol? That sounds fine. Thank you, sir. What else do you think you'll need? Um... A smart lock pick is always handy. That's right. Infiltrate and evade. Engage only on your own terms. Now move out. Manderley's waiting. Hey, what about that guy out front selling munitions? Is that allowed? Oh, Captain, right. We've got some screwballs around here, but he's not the problem. It's whoever's been breaking into the armor. Someone at Unaco's a thief? Yes, sir. And a damn good one. Yeah, we um find out who she is later as well. Get your checkup on. Um, should be some prisoners in here. Way to go, sir. Thank you. Huh. Surprisingly, I don't see the NSF leader. 
Unless they're interrogating him elsewhere. I don't care about Gunther. I'm the one who did very well, I am not PM. Hold your hand. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna be playing as pacifist as possible. Yeah, it was. How many skill points do I have? Hang on. I just want to test this out on... Yeah, it's pretty accurate now. Hey, JC. You look like the real thing. They actually let you operate on people? Just fix Gunther's knee, in fact. A sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun at people. We'll have to catch up later. I've got to leave for New York right away. Can you send Manderly whatever it is he wants? No problem. Listen, JC. About your augmentations. You know they're preparing to roll out the technology worldwide, right? As long as I don't turn green and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand it. Yeah, well, the design's pretty modular, which means you'll soon have access to upgrades from standard augmentation canisters. I think I picked one of those up at the top of the statue. Maybe you did. My order from Versalife was on the ship the NSF captured. You'll need to take it to one of the medbots for installation. I'll do that. The canisters contain a colloid of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades, others require you to make permanent choices about how to configure one of your subsystems. It's about time they implemented some of this stuff. Report to Manderley. He told me to send you back to him on the double. We're not done exploring yet, but... He doesn't care, huh? Medkit never can... never have too many of these. Nearly whatever that means. I think it basically means medicine is good if necessary. Now it's just, um, put it in there. Um, let's just microfiber muscle because um, that one's much more handy for moving heavier objects around, like the bigger crates and stuff. Let's go talk to Alex. I know I am. You're red hot. Looks like you found me. Yeah, I found you. Let me down. Nano key. Scope. Some 30 or 6 ammo for the sniper rifle. Which I usually get, but I didn't this time. I wanted to decide to do things slightly differently. Huh, that looks really good. Yep, there we are. It's a really nice detailed world map. Well, part of the world map anyway. Hmm. He never tells you the password for that one. So do I have any... No, I don't have any multi-tools. Do I? Oh yeah, I do. I won't use that there, though. <laughs> like leading a mouse to cheese. This thing is starting to give me a headache. Don't worry, we shut it down when you go off duty. I guess I'll get used to it. I'm Alex Jacobson, communications engineer. I suppose you already know who I am. Getting there. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Thanks. So, um, now I'll just go up to Mandalay and, um, then I'll finish this, uh, session. What? <laughs> it's kind of like saying you don't like being kicked in the testicles. Oh, that's right, the key thing is there for that. I'll lit these first. 
Um. No, I won't take that. Oops. Go on. Hmm. What I really want is a um, another prod charger. His office looks pimped out. That will be JC's job. What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. We're taking one illicit generating plant, protected by weak groups of NSF. Knock out that plant, and Paul's team can walk right into the warehouse. Just tell me where it is. The NSF are openly resisting our deployed forces, gradually falling back. You have to deal with them first. And you be ready, Paul. When the power drops, go in and go in hard. I'll use my discretion. Go in like the U.S. Marshals. We lose the vaccine, I'm sending your bite to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Yes, sir. Let's not waste any time, JC. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarro, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue, plus 250 for rescuing Agent Herman. That's 1250. We take care of our people around here. By the way, Durden, stay out of the ladies' restroom. That kind of activity embarrasses the agency more than it does you. Hmm. Okay, I might just look at this bathroom. I don't think I will. Oh yeah, um, so I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Deus Ex. So yeah, I'm Baron, by the way, if you don't remember. So yeah, I'll see you next time.